Hey everybody, I'm Julia Gonzalez, and this week I'm in Sevilla, Spain. <laughs> right here in Sevilla, then this is the video for you. So let's go. Just a short walk across the bridge from Sevilla is a market proudly celebrating their 200th anniversary, Mercado de Triana. And it's home to a place we've been trying to get a seat at since we first visited in 2019. So today we're at the Triana Market, which is one of my favorite places here in Sevilla. And we're having lunch at Arrotaria Criaito. And we're here from, for some paella, I can't wait. It's supposed to be delicious. And we've tried getting in here like three or four different times on our occasions here. It's midday Monday and we got a seat. <laughs> Cheers, oh, that's mine. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, real quick backstory on paella. Technically, paella is any rice dish cooked in a large circular pan. The pan is actually called paella. However, it's worth mentioning paella originated in the Valencia region of Spain and includes specific ingredients like rabbit, chicken, sometimes duck, but not seafood. Oh, Gracias. Gracias. Wow. So this is the paella. We're going to say paella style because it's served with seafood. Yeah. Wow. 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 I just can't, I can't get over like how fresh the fish is. Like there is no aftertaste to any of this fish. Like it is so fresh. It's amazing. So I'm a little shocked that we were able to finish most of that. And the only thing I can probably toke it up to is like the natural ingredients that they're using. Like I don't feel overly full. I'm just really enjoying this meal and it's just delicious. <laughs> So tonight we are at Pretoria, Rina Victoria. It's in the Triana neighborhood. And we've heard from locals that this is the best place for fried fish. So we're here to check it out. We have three different types of fried fish here. We have um, a fish here with adobo marinade on it. And then a lightly fried fish. And then this is baby squid. So this is the lightly fried. You can tell that the fish still has like the skin on. Probably gives it spectra flavor. Wow. Really hot. That fish is delicious. There's like an extra saltiness. And they might have sprinkled some salt on it. But wow. How flaky. And divine that fish is. It's delicious. Wow, it's really good. And there's no sauces. You don't need to dip it in sauce because it's so delicious. Gracias. Today we're at La Gallina Bianca, <laughs> which means the white hen. 
and we're here. We've been here before, we loved it, and we're back to try some more pizza. Oh. Got this. <laughs> Cheers. This is a spot you'll want to make a reservation. We saw several people turned away because the tables were already reserved. So here's our pizza, margarita pizza. Mm. Let me just see the bottom. Yeah. Look at that, it's perfect. It's perfection. All right, it's not cut, so I'm gonna have to cut this. So fast forward that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so good. It's bottom is like just perfect. This is the perfect, like, thickness of a Neapolitan pizza. Mm. So good. Setas. It's the largest wooden structure in the world and it's an awesome spot to take in 360 degree views of Sevilla. So tonight we're at Lama La Uva. It's a wine bar here in the beautiful setting of Setas. We're here to have some Spanish wine and some meat and cheese and enjoy the evening. Just come along. Come along. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, very good. So this is jamón iberico. This is the best jamón you're going to have. It's yeah. Ham, it's gonna it's gonna melt in your mouth, and we're gonna test it. Is it gonna melt in my mouth? I'm gonna tell you, right now. <laughs> it's melting in my mouth. <laughs> it's very delicious. I wanna have it some with some cheese. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. Very good. I loved it. I loved being here. The wine was amazing. The jamón was amazing. The queso cheese was amazing. <laughs> I know Spanish. <laughs> um, no, it was, it, it was great. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the people watching, the dog watching, kid watching. It was all amazing. It was an experience. Yeah, I loved it. So today we're at Red Steak here in Sevilla. They're known for their steaks. We're super excited to dig in. Yeah, that's really rare. Okay, so this is a T-bone steak. It is huge. And what they did was they basically like seared it, um, you know, put salt, pepper onto it, and then you can pretty much cook it to what you want. So they brought this here. We're going to put the meat on and cook it to what we want. Yeah. I've never done this before. <laughs>
cheese at a steakhouse. lunch hour and it wasn't too busy but it is always best to try to make reservations if there's a particular restaurant that you want to get into red steak is a great option if you're craving steak <laughs> Country. One, two, and circle. Circle. Yeah. Which means red and circus. Yeah. At Pan E Circo, they mix art and food perfectly. Their colorful decor matches their tasty dishes, making it a lively place to visit. really good reviews, but the reason we came is for this dish. It's a roasted pig, a baby pork, a baby pig. And here it is. <laughs> Oh, oh. It's really... It's very uh, tender. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, like fattiness that like melts in your mouth. It's... Wow. It's so tender. Lots of flavor. It's like the pork is like... Tastes like it's been roasting all day. Wow. You want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with a fork, you can take pieces of it. And tear it apart? Yeah. Do you want some? You, no, you, you go ahead. Got it. Got it. So food was amazing, highly recommend. Cheers. So today, you guys know that we always check out burgers at every city we go to. So today is no different in Sevilla. We're here at Empire State Burger to try the Smash Burger. I'm gonna make a mess. So mine's the Honey Moon Burger. It has mayonnaise, cheese, bacon, tomato, pickles, and lettuce. lettuce. And I thought that there's cucumbers somewhere on there too. No, I think it's pickles. It's pickles, okay. Looks great. Two smash burgers. 
on this bun. Looks amazing. It looks amazing. Look at that bun. It looks great. Yeah, it's a beautiful bun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. It's divine. That's what you want in a burger. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. First bite. Amazing. It's like home. It's like you're just like dying in this burger. It's delicious. I love it. It's hot. It's fresh. Wow. Mm. Perfect. The pickles are sweet. It's a great combination with the bacon, the saltiness, and the cheese. Ah, it's just great. Great burger. Or sometimes you just need a burger break, you know? Oh, that's It's totally okay. But then though... I love these fries. No, everywhere we travel, and that food is great. Sometimes you just want something that is familiar. Yeah. You know, uh, and then a burger is always a way to go. Mm-hmm. And comfort food. Ultimate comfort food. That concludes this week's food tour. I hope you enjoyed it. One big takeaway I did have from this tour is if you have a restaurant in mind that you really wanna try, please make a reservation. You're definitely gonna need it. We're here during the off season and we made sure to make reservations. So it's really important. If you haven't seen my tapas video, I did a tapas video here in Sevilla. So please check that out. It'll be in the link below. If you like food, if you like travel, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.